Hi guys, uh, GG here. Today we're gonna try to flash an easy uh, ECU which is uh, ADC 17 CP20. Uh, I have already prepared the connections, I will show you how to do it. This is uh, as you can see also it has this uh, part where it's glued so I will not show you how to open it anymore. It has six screws. You open it uh, from this side up. Go slowly. Don't push the, the, the screwdriver uh, inside. You have uh, like this much space to put it in. No more than this on this side. And here, watch out. Very easy. Because when I did m this one here, uh, one of the condensators. Uh, was damaged and I had to, to replace it. Uh, yes, it's this one here. It's a very, very, very small one. One of these three. Uh, I touched it with the screwdriver and it flew. Uh, luckily for me, I have uh, have some uh, standing here uh, and I replaced it because the other one just crashed. So just do it very easy and carefully when you when you open it. This is a very easy uh, ECU to uh, to read and write. You don't have to put so many uh, cables uh, on the on the printed uh, uh, board. You only have to put one uh, pin, uh, the boot pin, and the rest of the connections are, are here. You have a plus, minus, uh, one more ignition, and then a can low and a can high. So one, two, three, four, five cables all in all here, and one on the PCB. On the PCB, you will need to put. I think I will. Uh, I will just take the GoPro. I'll just show you. Only one boot pin, and I will. Uh, let's see if we can do it like very easy here. I will uh, show you with the with the phone anyway because it's much better. One boot pin here. Uh, but what I wanted to show you also it's an easy way to, to put uh, the boot pin uh, as you can see I have already um, this is a special plate you can buy uh, it's it's a metal it's magnetic uh, you screw uh, here in, in two screws and it's sitting on the edge of the ECU and uh, with the help of, of um, one of these guys it has the magnet here. You can see it. Yeah. This is a magnet. It will stay on, you know. This is a very easy way. So in this way you can just put it here, adjust it where it has to be here on the on the boot pin and just connect the, the boot cable to it. And it's very stable, it doesn't move. It's, it's making a very good connection. Well, if you do not have one of these like I have, I guess anyone can go to a, a tool shop and get one of these. You know, it's holding itself here. And then you can use a normal uh, pin like one of these and put it in here and hold it like this. Or you can get from your uh, Voltmeta probe, like this, with the pin in the end, put it like this here, and then just put it stable on the on the boot pin. This is, uh, is very easy. So, this is the device, and here I will show you the the boot pin. It is here. I will try to focus. This one. Uh, I will show in the image also. Uh, this is an ECU I had opened before, and I had it standing here on the on the table. And now, uh, 
let's try to make our uh, our boot pin. I try to do it with one hand. You can see it. It's here. Now we will find the the boot pin. And put it on. So that's it. This is the only thing you need. And the end of the, the cable. You just connect your your boot uh, boot pin wire. Let's see how you do it here. And that's it. Okay, I will go back to the uh, our camera to the GoPro and take it from there. So you can see it's very nice inside. And here I have uh, one ground, one plus ignition, and the can high and the can low. So we start uh, K tag. We go to the Volkswagen brand, choose transporter T5, EC17, CP20, and it's a 3 core. Okay, we will have to choose what kind of connection we want to make, and we want to make the CP20 IROM. As you can see here, you have two possibilities by the boot pin here or by the BDM. We do it with uh, with the boot pin and direct connection. Direct connection, and the boot pin is right here, close to the CPU where I showed you. Then we we'll only have to connect these wires. Ground one, 12 volts to 5 and 87, and then a can high 68, can low 67. You see, okay, and we choose the CP20 IROM. And we will make a backup. Always make a backup before you proceed with the write or uh, remap or something. We'll identify the ECU. And start reading. You will see this is a very fast uh, reading process. And once the microchip is done, uh, microprocessor is done, it will uh, take the EEPROM. And I want to save it as a backup already. Save the file separately, yes, and it's complete. I'm going to flash the ECU uh, with the remap. I choose the remaps and then I say write and choose the file which I want to write. Now it's identifying ECU again. I've stopped uh, the recording for a second because uh, my machine just crashes. I don't know exactly why. And now it will start writing the microprocessor. As you can see, this is a very fast process. And we are uh, done. As you can see, uh, Galeto has a little bit um, a different option for connecting the uh, can high, can low, and um, the power so we will connect it according to this one but the boot pin I will let it uh, like the K tag uh, because as you will see here Galeto wants me to, to put 1000 ohm on the on the ground I can do that also uh, but I would prefer to do it uh, with uh, 
with a KTAG because I do not need any uh, uh, resistance to make this uh, issue. So now we started uh, the Galeto. We have to select the driver, car, uh, sorry, boot, Infineon 3 core 1796. Okay, now we'll have to apply power to the unit. I power it on and let's say connect. Turn the dashboard off and wait. Okay, we turn the dashboard off, we wait. Turn the dashboard on, put the power on. and we are connected. You can see I have a little bit more information about this uh, by Galeto and we will make a backup where we say read all and we will go just see tuning wash and we know this is one here <coughs> make a Galeto folder One second, I want to put the same name. Ah, it got the same name. And you say backup. Remove power, give power. Okay. Almost done. And we are done with it. Let's try to uh, to read the micro flash. I said to read. Internal flash, remove power and give power again. Which we did. And now it's reading the flash. And we are almost uh, at the end. As you can see, it is reading a little bit slower, but I think uh, it's reading uh, more complete than the K tag. I'm not sure I will have to examine the maps uh, for that. We are finished with this one. We give take power and we will uh, read the EEPROM separately also. And we say EEPROM. And it will say 
remove power and give power which I just did and uh, it's done I just want to see one little thing uh, we can close this one and look at the connection because here it says CP04 but I think the connections are actually the same for for all, we'll just uh, try to find the CP20, CP14, CP20. I think it's the same. Uh, let's see. Uh, CP20. Yeah, the connections uh, are the same for uh, CP20 uh, and CP04. So this is how uh, you read and uh, write the EDC 17 CP20. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.